FBI agents raided the home of a recognized Department of Justice whistleblower who privately delivered documents pertaining to the Clinton Foundation and Uranium One to a government watchdog, according to the whistleblower's attorney. The Justice Department's Inspector General was informed that the documents show that federal officials failed to investigate potential criminal activity regarding former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton the Clinton Foundation and Rosatom, the Russian company that purchased Uranium One, a document reviewed by the Daily Caller News Foundation alleges. The delivered documents also show that then-FBI Director Robert Mueller failed to enforce criminal laws pertaining to Rosatom and to other Russian government entities attached to Uranium One, the document reviewed by the DCNF alleges. Mueller is now the special counsel investigating whether Donald Trump's presidential campaign colluded with Russia during the 2016 election. The Bureau raided my client to seize what he legally gave Congress about the Clinton Foundation and Uranium won the whistleblower's lawyer, Michael Sokaras, told the DCNF noting that he considered the FBI's raid to be an outrageous disregard of whistleblower protections. Trending, U.S. professor under investigation over role in birth of world's first genetically altered babies. Sixteen agents arrived at the home of Dennis Nathan Kane, a former FBI contractor, on the morning of 19 November and raided his Union Bridge, Maryland, home, so Karras told the DCNF. The raid was permitted by a court order signed on 15 November by Magistrate Judge Stephanie Gallagher in the U.S. District Court for Baltimore and obtained by the DCNF. A special agent from the FBI's Baltimore Division, 